a little while ago, I made the observation and hypothesis that Garp is was somewhere around Rayleigh's level in his prime. Anime and manga means more, and this time we're talking about Garp. What was Garp? How strong was he in his prime? Like, what level was he at? I said around Rayleigh's level. Now, a couple people was getting on me. You son of a bitch. You, you, that's sin or whatever. I, this is the reason why. I got to state my opinion. This is the reason why I think he's around Rayleigh's level. First off, Roger was the strongest pirate. Second, they said that Whitebeard was, you know, equal to him in strength. But we know that he won, you know, their battle. So, Gold Roger had to at least been a teensy battle. Or he had more motivation to fight or whatever. But... He came out on top. So, with that being st said, and the fact that Garp can never catch Roger, of course they say he cornered them seven times. An almost caught bird makes a terrible stew. If you didn't do it, almost don't mean shit. You got to do it. You know, Roger wasn't locked the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? So, wait, was he locked up? Then God met up with um fucking Roger at one point. Oh, that was when he turned himself in. I'm I'm brain messed up. That's when he turned himself in. And he was getting ready to kill himself, whatever. So yeah, so um he he never caught his ass. So obviously Roger was strong enough to get away from him. Somebody said that God was on Roger's level. That doesn't make any damn sense to me. First off, I think the the pirate king seems to be the strong person on the planet. Now. There might be somebody in the Marines that's, you know, around that strength, but I doubt it because if that was the case, it wouldn't be for Yonko, I wouldn't think. I would think it'd be only two, one, two. Why? Because I would think that, what the hell is that? I would think that if somebody was on the Marines was that damn strong, he'd be able to take one of them down. You understand? Because all of the four Yonko aren't the same level. So I think he would be able to take them down. You understand? And the dude... What am I getting ready to say? If he's not on Roger's level, right? And he's not on White Bear's level. But he was close enough to it where he could fight Gold Roger and not get killed, you know, automatically. Then he, he must have been somewhere around... Rayleigh's strength. I mean, think about it. I mean, if he can corner Roger, I'm thinking he's around Rayleigh's strength. But he can fight him head on without worrying about just being, you know, demolished. But at the same time, he wouldn't be able to win. Because he's not on Whitebeard's level. Because they said that Whitebeard was a person that, compete, that can compete with him. But they somebody was telling me that they didn't include Marines and they didn't include um, uh, revolutionaries. I think that, what you call them, dragons overhyped. He's way overhyped. He's strong as hell because he, he was able to, you know, take out Smoker with no problem. But he didn't fight Smoker, but he was able to handle him without even having to fight him. That's how strong the dude is. So I think he's strong, but that doesn't mean he was on Roger's level just because. We don't know a damn thing about a uh, 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 dragon. We just know he got some kind of weather manipulation or something like that. So, we can't base it on him. You, you can't just say, oh, he must be on Roger's level. They just saying that just because they want, they, they, because they like a, a dragon. That's what that shit's about. They're just talking shit. But anyway, um, to base it, if Roger hasn't, if, I mean, if Gawk couldn't beat Roger and couldn't put his ass away, he wasn't on his level. They said that White Bear was on Roger's level. So, Gawk couldn't have been on White Bear's level. So, but he was close. So if he was close, then he had to have been somewhere near Rayleigh's level. That's my thought. That's what I think. And that's why I'm sticking to it until I'm proven otherwise. But the dude was strong as shit because he took out somebody worth half a billion that was headbutting fucking continents in half. Now, this dude who can headbutt continents in half, if he could do that, God probably could split the whole, I mean, the whole red line. You know, split a damn crack and a whole, like, break a whole portion of the red line, no problem. And the way the dude talked, it seemed like he got taken out, like, easily. Because why would you hold the grudge like that if it was a, you know, good, strong fight? He must have got his ass embarrassed. That's what I'm thinking, like, that's how bad God was back in those days. But anyway, go ahead and leave your comment, let me know what you think. 
Rate the video and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.